Well, today, a hint of light at the end of the tunnel as Great Britain began giving the Pfizer vaccine for the first time outside of clinical trials. This is the FDA prepares to give emergency use authorization for the vaccine this week. The president celebrated the milestone during a White House summit. WGN Sean Lewis is here now with the story. Sean? Yeah, big day at the White House to be sure, though it did come just hours after a New York Times report that said that while the U.S. did order 100 million doses of that Pfizer vaccine, enough for 50 million Americans, it opted out earlier this year of another 100 million guaranteed doses to be delivered in the first second quarter of 2021. At the White House this afternoon, a vaccine summit. No drug makers, but regulators explaining the expected FDA approval for the Pfizer coronavirus vaccine. Thank you, everybody. Thank you. The president signing an executive order as well, aimed at prioritizing the shipment of the vaccine to Americans before other nations, though it's unclear if that order is enforceable. 90-year-old Margaret Keenan was first up with the Pfizer vaccine. Second was 81-year-old William Shakespeare. It, it, it could, could make a difference to our lives from now on, couldn't it? It's a really exciting time. Chicago's Dr. Rahul Kare, whose innovative express care clinics continue to perform COVID testing, says attention is now turning to the logistics of getting the Pfizer vaccine and possibly others out to the public. It's going to be difficult. There's no question. Um, a lot of these vaccines, like the Pfizer one, need a negative 80 degrees Celsius. Like, that's unheard of. For that, a portable ultra-cold refrigerator is being worked on in Italy. It is expected to store and transport 180,000 doses of the vaccine safely without electricity. For its part, Pfizer is using this custom-built thermal shipper. The box is lined with insulation, the vaccines tightly packed within layers of dry ice. And while Pfizer's may be the first to be approved in the U.S., it will not be the last. Moderna has a similar vaccine using messenger RNA to produce immunity in humans. AstraZeneca's vaccine uses a more traditional adenovirus. AstraZeneca's was the third to be announced, but is the first to get a thumbs up in a peer-reviewed paper published in the medical journal Lancet. The RNA vaccines are a bit more laser-guided missile compared to the general carpet bombing of the, uh, the adenovirus-vectored vaccines. They are very precise in what, they're, in what they're designed to do. And this morning, the FDA did release documents confirming Pfizer's vaccine was strongly protective against COVID-19 and appeared to be safe, offering the world's first detailed look at the evidence behind these shots. Again, the FDA set to meet about this vaccine for its use here in the United States on Thursday.